Problem number 10. Yep. It says, calculate the molecular formula for nicotine based on its elemental mass percent composition. And that's given to you. And its molar mass, which is 234 grams per mole. Okay, so what you can do in this, you'll see, so here's the information they give you. They say carbon, I'll move this over a bit. Carbon is 51.28%. Uh, of the compound. Um, hydrogen is 9.40%. Oxygen is 27.35%. And nitrogen is the balance, which is 11.97%. And they want the molecular formula for the compound with the molecular weight of 234 grams per mole. Okay? So, what you can do in this case, you can assume, alright, let's suppose that we have 100 grams of this compound. So what would that tell you? Well, since, for example, carbon, you have 51.28%, that means that you have 51.28 grams of carbon. And likewise, you can just change all those percentages to grams. Now, I could have said 50 grams, and then we would have had to have, find 51.28% of 50. I just think that 100 is the easiest number to work with. So, carbon. We're going to convert, starting with carbon, we're going to convert all these to their molar amounts in the compound. So we do this by multiplying each one, or di rather dividing each one by its molar mass. So you have, for every one mole of carbon, you have 12.01 grams of carbon. Um, so, 51.28 divided by 12.01 is 4.27 moles of carbon. And likewise, so you're going to divide the hydrogen, 9.40, divided by 1.008, because that's the molar mass of that. So this is going to be 9.33 moles of hydrogen. And then oxygen, the molar mass is uh, 16 grams per mole, so you're going to do 27.35 divided by 16 is 1.71 moles of oxygen. And then finally, nitrogen, uh, the molar mass is 14, so you're going to do 11.97 divided by 14 is 0 0.85 five moles of nitrogen. Okay? So technically now you do have an empirical formula. You could say, okay, the answer is 4, C 4.27, H 9.33, O 1.71, N 0.855. Okay? But you don't see molecular formulas like this. It doesn't look very nice. So what you can do to make this a bit nicer is divide the empirical formula a bit nicer is to divide each one by the smallest one. So 0.855 is the smallest here, so you can put 0 0.855, 0 0.855, 0 0.855. So what you're going to see here is that you get C equals 4.27 divided by 0.855. That gives you 4.99, so you can just call that 5. H is uh, 9.33 divided by 0.855. It's uh, 10.91, close enough to 11 to round it. So um, O is going to be 1.71 divided by 0.855. That gives you 2 exactly. And 0.855 divided by 0.855 is just 1. So this gives you the empirical formula of the compound, and it's C5H11O2N. Okay? But this isn't necessarily the molecular formula of the compound. It's just the empirical formula. But what we can do is we can test if this weighs um, 234 grams per mole. So we're going to have 5 carbon, so 12.01 times 5, plus 11 hydrogens, 
11 uh, times 1.008 plus 2 oxygens, so 2 times 16 plus 1 nitrogen plus 14. So this guy weighs 117.138 grams per mole, which is not the molar mass that they gave us for this compound. But we can see what we have to multiply this by to get that mass. So what we do is we take that molar mass, it's 234, divided by 117.138. 234 divided by that is basically 2. Okay, so if we multiply this whole compound by 2, that will double the mass and give us the mass that we need. So your final answer is going to be C10H22O4N2. And that corresponds to answer choice 4 on your test.